but we now have two emus here on our farm. All right, y'all, this is not a, uh, this actually wasn't a planned day to record anything, but long story short, here it is. Uh, I just hung up with Brooke. We got a, uh, we got a little situation here. Uh, if you guys remember, we had, when we got Nugget, oh, uh, we also got his brother and sister. And of course we were at our other farm, which was way smaller. And this was, you know, way before, uh, the 40 came about way before we started doing all this full time. And we couldn't keep three emus. And so we got the other two for our fan, for our friends over there at JK Farm, Stan and Kathy. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that was three years ago. Is it three or four years ago when all this went about? So Nugget's either three or four. So they've had Nugget's brother and sister since then. And we've gone and visited them a couple of times and shown you guys them over the years. There's been an accident with one of the two. Uh, it appears that it got attacked by something or a pack of somethings. We, we really don't know the details and they really don't know either. But the the female emu is still, is okay. Um, her name's Goldie. And she's in, uh, she, she's, she's pretty upset and pretty depressed right now. They said that uh, they got her uh, locked up in a pen um, but she will not eat or drink. She is just pacing left and right. The other thing is, is that Mr. Stan has hurt his back. And so he just had some surgery. And they reached out to us and wanted to know if there was any way possible that we could come get Goldie and see if her and Nugget would bond and that that would help this whole situation and we said we would so brooke is going to run over there because i can't but brooke's perfectly capable you guys know this and uh like i said she's really really tame and get her loaded up on a horse trailer and bring her back here the only the only thing that we're wondering is um nugget's never been around another emu he really hasn't you know, we have talked about possibly getting Nugget a buddy, uh, being another emu. And do we put her in the pasture with Nugget and see how it goes? Or do we put her in another pasture and hope that she doesn't try to get out to get to Nugget because she's wanting a mate? Um, we just don't know. Also, guys, I just reached out to Lester, who has ostriches, which are, which are rat type. Uh, very, 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 very similar to an emu. And um, I asked him his opinion and what he did when he got his ostriches, ostriches, ostrich, ah, forget it. And he said to put her in with Nugget. That's exactly what he would do. He said that they're, you know, that he thinks that they'll bond because they're like animals. And that's what he would do. And that's what he did. So that gives me a little more confidence in doing that as well. So... I think that's going to be the plan when Brooke gets here with her. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, I don't... My biggest fear is she doesn't want to be here, escape some kind of way, and just leaves completely looking for a mate or just whatever. I, I don't know. That's my biggest fear. Um, I'm not worried about Nugget per se. I'm, I'm just not. I'm just not worried about him. But I'm, I'm glad I reached out to him and he gave me that little bit of confidence as to what he would do. So, all right, here we go. So I, I, I made a uh, I made a mistake or a, a, a crucial mistake. Um, long story short, I lost all the footage of the new emu getting here and everything I recorded that day. I thought I had my files saved on my computer and I reformatted my, my little SD card that goes in my camera that saves everything that I record. And when I reformatted it, it just wiped it off. Uh, I basically stayed up uh, past midnight last night trying to get the files back. 
Uh, I bought several programs. Uh, it was it's really important video because this is a brand new animal here on our farm, and I had it all recorded of them arriving here, us unloading, the reactions between the two emus, and I lost it. So I just want to tell you guys I'm extremely sorry for that. So without further ado, meet the newest member here on the farm, Goldie, the emu. Good morning, Goldie. How you doing, sister? You doing okay? She's doing good. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? Beautiful young lady. Beautiful, beautiful. Now the only footage that I was able to save was from my iPhone because it wasn't on the card. So I'll give you guys some of that footage. Here's Goldie right here. Hey, Goldie. Now, it is a female. We know that 100%. Y'all hear the calls. Hopefully, I'll get that on camera today. Now, Nugget makes that grunting sound, and you can see Nugget is coming up to me. Now, she makes a drumming noise that sounds like, you know, do 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 and y'all will hear it. Nugget makes a grunt noise that's like bump, bump, bump. So that is the difference between the two emus as for calls. Uh, they look like they're about the same size, really. But generally, the females will get larger than the males. But that is Miss Goldie. And y'all, so far, so good. Our biggest concern when we got Goldie over here was how they were going to react to each other. Uh, Nugget did go over there and inspect her when she first got here and he was extremely cautious of it. Uh, you could tell by his mannerisms and how he was walking, he was extremely cautious. But after, I bet it was less than a minute, he walked away. But at the same time, he wasn't protective of this pasture. So I think it was a really, really, really good thing that we had just moved him the day prior. I don't think, now he may now because it's been a couple of days, but I don't think he thinks this is his territory yet. Does that make sense? Versus if we would have gotten her and put her over there in his old pasture where he's been for two years. So I think that was a big, big blessing. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This was not planned at all. This was not in our cards here on our farm. We literally moved Nugget. Y'all hear drumming? Listen. Let me walk up. Listen. It literally sounds like a you know, drum, that's what it reminds me of. It's just doom, 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 doom. It's really, really interesting. But the timing of this was an absolute blessing. I mean, it really, really was. He moved Nugget the day prior of us getting the phone call from Stan and Kathy reaching out to us saying they needed some help. I just think it was meant to be. Does that make sense? I just think it was meant to be. This all happened just bam 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 so well her reaction to nugget was she really was very anxious when she got here uh after they saw each other kind of out here in the middle she started pacing this fence line over here very 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 quickly uh it was uh, like an anxious pace there's nugget grunting did y'all hear him 
It was an anxious pace. It wasn't a slow pace. You could tell she was extremely nervous. Um, but they literally did not pay each other any attention for hours out here. But there y'all go. You can see her on the back side back there. Now she is walking back and forth down there, but it's like you can tell it's a little bit more calm. Her neck's not stretched out. You can just see her body language is a little bit different now, a little more relaxed. Um, she's not sticking her head over the side of the fence. She's just, just a casual pace up and down, which is fine. You know, Nugget's kind of doing something similar over here. I mean, so they're just checking things out. Um, he's still not used to this pasture. You know, he, I don't think he's been in there 24 hours, really. Or he just may hit the 24 hour mark. I mean, he's, it's all new to him as well. You can see the geese have made their way in the middle. But there she is right there. Again, just cool, calm. Oh, here come the goats. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Just now saw the goats. She doesn't seem alarmed. She's that's like that's a slow walk right there. It's not a it's not a run or a fast, fast pace. She turns around. She sped up a little bit right there with the goats. That's okay. And now she's slowed back down again. So I think she's settling in pretty good. She really is. Uh, honestly, this went way smoother than I anticipated. Nugget is still over there. Throughout the day, we kept watching them. And later on that evening, uh, they started to come together. It was real cautious, I should say. They were, they were really cautious of each other. But no fighting, no hissing, no fussing, no nothing. Y'all look, things are really calming down now. I thought I saw them together out through the window of the house and it's not quite yet to come feed everybody. But I just had to come show you guys how Nugget how Nugget and her are kind of reacting to each other. That is awesome. And she came right up to me. She was kind of off in the distance and Nugget was headed towards me. And then she came right up on me. I think it's going to work out. I really do. Now, when me and Brooke have gone into the pasture to feed and clean out waterers, she will come up to us, but she's not like Nugget. She's not like Nugget. But she will come up to us to come see us, and then she'll walk off. And we may try this here in just a second to see what happens if when we go in. One other thing that we also noticed about her is that she's not worried about the dogs. But we now have two emus here on our farm. Now, some of y'all might be saying, uh, they're brother and sisters, what does that do as for mating or anything like that? Uh, well, number one, we've mentioned this before in the past, birds are different than, than mammals, okay? So that happens a lot in the wild and it's perfectly okay for birds versus mammals. Does that mean that we're gonna have baby emus? <sighs> Right now, my gut tells me no, it really does, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. There they go right there. Let's see them looking at each other. Now she's on the right and he's on the left. Let's get past the alarm system this morning. Now on a other, another note, to show you how comfortable Nugget has been, this morning when I fed peaches, Nugget came in his stall. And he stayed in there a good bit. He actually drank out of the water that we have set up in the stall. Here he comes. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Now, one thing that I was worried about 
when we gave Nugget a bigger area. Hey, buddy. I'm right here. <laughs> Can y'all see him? So one thing that I was worried about, if we gave Nugget a bigger area, and his area is gonna get bigger once we get the rest of the fence put up, would he kinda disappear? Would we not see him that much anymore? Would he just be out and about, out in the pastures, and not come see us and that kind of thing once, once we came over here to feed and stuff? And so far, that has not been the case. Uh, he's still the same old Nugget that we had at the other pasture. Let's see if he comes in here. Let's see if he comes in here. Come on, buddy. Come on in here. I got him some food right there in that bucket. So he doesn't have to come in here to eat. I want him to be comfortable. He was right here. I wanted to show everybody he was coming in the stall. Come on, I can hear her drumming. That drumming sound she makes is, I mean, it's not loud, but it travels. Here he comes. Come on. That a boy. Look, he's in here, y'all. Look. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's okay. Now, look at here. Now, look at here. Look where you are. Want to get you some water? Come on in here. That a boy. Good boy, Nugget. So you can see he is getting more comfortable with the stall, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby steps, right? I don't know what the cats are doing in the barn. Did y'all hear that? No telling, but baby steps. Peaches, you still eating this morning? All right, girl, come on, let me let you out. What's up, gang? What y'all think about Goldie? She is a lovely lady, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She really is. No tip. All right. All right, Peach Peach. We're going to let you out, girl. All right, girl. Your gate's open. Yeah. Go on. Go on about your business. Y'all, Peaches has really, really been exploring this new area. I, she's been a lot more active. A lot more active, which is great. I haven't seen her in the woods yet, but I have seen Peaches get down to that porta hut right over there. You're a beautiful girl. Yes, you are. Yeah. Hey, Goldie. Hey, girl. Hey, Goldie. Hey. How are you doing? Hmm? How are you doing? I got Nugget right here beside me. I was hoping that she would see him and get a little bit more comfortable around us. Okay, guys, she's coming up to me. She's coming up to me. Look here. Hey, Goldie. Hey, you want to clean my shoes off too? Hmm? You can. Go ahead. You can clean my shoes off. That's Nugget's favorite thing. Yeah. You sleepy? <laughs> Y'all see her yawn? She's coming behind me right here. You want to come back to me again? Come on. Come on. You want to eat my shoes? Look at there, y'all. Look at there. I got double emu action right there. Will you let me touch you? Okay. It's okay. Now that was pretty awesome. Well, it looks like that uh, she's not going to come over here and see us. Uh, she's watching the dogs run over there. And she's not paying me and this fella here any attention. <laughs> All right, buddy. 
Well, you guys will see a lot of Goldie in the videos now. I don't want you to get the impression that she's gonna be like Nugget where I'm gonna sit down and pet and she's gonna be all lovey-dovey like he is. I don't think that's ever gonna be the case. She's, she's friendly, really is friendly. Nugget's over the top friendly. He's just a special case. But for Emu, she's pretty tame. But will she be Nugget tame? No, she's never gonna be like that. I, I just don't see it, but that's okay. We're gonna love her just the same because she sure needs it after what all she's been through. What's going on, partner? What is going on, Moody? All right, big man. Here you go, sir. All right, let's go get the boys. Come on, boys. Come on, big mo. Brooks over here cleaning waters this morning. I gotta go tell her about Goldie cleaning my shoes this morning. Cause that's a first. Guess what? What? She cleaned my shoes off this morning. What? Yeah. <laughs> she got two little nibbles in. Her and Nugget, I had Nugget was behind on my heel and she was on my front toe. She you got, know what this means. She got two nibbles in and then she walked away. Now she's still. No, no. You know what this means. What? Genetics are strong. <laughs> right? I guess so. Oh my gracious. Uh, yeah, she did. That's and awesome. I was waiting for her though. You know how Nugget is. He laid down beside me and I was hoping she would come over to us after that. Uh huh. But she never did. She, she, she came up to me twice and the, one of the times she did come clean my shoes off. Oh, wow. And, I'm impressed. Um, but uh, I was hoping she would come up to us when Nugget was laying beside me, but she didn't. Well, still, that's a start. That's a big start. That's a, that's a really, really big start. <laughs> so I was happy about that. That makes me really happy. Yeah, yeah, me but too. But it makes me sad that she didn't do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, gracious. Um, guys, again, I do apologize for the mistake I made. Um... But here we are, and we have a lovely new member of our farm, and I'm so grateful that we were able to not only help her out, help out some friends of ours that, uh, that needed our help. So all is great here, and y'all be good. Mm -hmm.